J-Lo, ya tú sabes, no hay más nada. It's a new generation. Mr. Worldwide. Of party people. Get on the floor, dale. Get on the floor. Red one. Let me introduce you. Hey everybody, this is Wise Man White from the Tech Temple. I finally got another video going, got my new camera, tripod, and everything, so let's do this. Uh, I'm showing you this version, I'm showing you the... Cyanogen 7 that was released last week. Uh, it took so long to come up with another video that it's already going to CM7 from 6.1. So I'm just going to give you guys a show you what's the difference between Android 2.3 and 2.2. And then I'll show you um, some cool stuff that Cyanogen did in this video. And then the next video, I'll do a, um, a overview, like an in-depth and in, an in-depth thing of what you can do with Cyanogen, what things they change, what options you have. So let's get to it. Um, as you can see, uh, I got this clock. This is just a widget, a uh, fancy widget. And I'm using Launcher Pro, just if you're wondering. So that's how I got uh, my icon at the bottom. And that's how I got some of these widgets. But, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. So, one thing you notice right here is the notification bar down at the bottom. Usually, um, it's a little bit different on 2.2, but on 2.3 they kind of made it a little sharper. Uh, some of the icons kind of changed the way they look, like the battery icon and the your signal and your 3G, those changed. Um, I know mine's at the bottom, but usually it's at the top. That's one thing. In Sign Engine, you can change, you can have them on the top or bottom. Um, I kind of like it because I think it's more natural to go. I'm down to up for me, it's more natural, so that was a nice change that you can make. Kind of like on a uh, Pre or a Pixie. Um, the lock screen is one thing that you have the option to change how you want it. Uh, mine, I chose this kind of rotary dialer. And from here, you can, um, you know, turn the sound on, turn the sound off. Um, this unlocks it. And if you go in the options, this, you can set any app you want to, to do whatever you want. So, on mine, I have uh, my middle app to automatically go to a um, compose text message. So, that way, I don't have to go into the app. I can do it from the lock screen. And another cool thing I did with the lock screen, uh, this is Cyan Engine, not 2.3. Is they have gestures just like they had in 2.2 or in a uh, 6.1. So for here I have C for camera. So I just make a C and bam it takes me right to my camera app without me having to press the menu button or my shortcut. I can just go from the home screen and it's already at the camera screen from the camera app. So that's pretty cool. As far as 2.3 goes. Some other stuff they changed uh, is the way the menus look. As you can see, um, when you press the menu button, everything's a, a lot. It's a lot sharper, I would say. That's the difference between 2.2 and 2.3. 2.3 is kind of more um, aesthetically everything sharper. So you can see they changed the colors, kind of, and same thing notification bar. They change the look of the notification bar also. Just a little different. Not too much of a change. Um, you can go into the settings. They Now you have profiles in 2.3. So let's say when you're at work, you want your phone to be um, on silent or on vibrate. And then when you leave work, you want to be able to switch so you can hear calls again. You can go to profiles. And you can choose work, home, silent, um, night. So in each profile, you can have separate apps. Enable them to have their sound on or off. Or have vibrate or on or have vibrate off. It's up to you. That is in 2.3. Another thing they've done in 2.3. Um, instead of having the bounce effects to tell when you're at the edge of the screen. They have, um, if you can see, the bottom kind of turns orange. Same thing with the top. Now in Cyanogen, you can enable the bounce also. So I have bounce and the orange at the bottom. I believe in 2.3, they just have the orange and there's no bounce. But you can go into the Cyanogen settings and change how much of a 
um, resistance you want for the bounce. And also, just to prove to you that I am running 2.3 real quick, there you go, Android version. Another thing that they did in 2.3 is to change the battery use. You can kind of more easily tell what's been taking up your battery. And up here they give you a uh, kind of showing you how much of your battery is left. So I'm probably about 50% looking at this graph at the top. And if you tap the graph, it takes you to a, a blown up, exposed, exploded version of the graph showing you looking at the lines like how much to, was your screen aw awoken how much uh, was your GPS on how much time you spent charging so that's one little add-on they put on there I'll show you the dialer has changed I think it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the old buttons that they have you can see um, it's kind of each button has their own there's no buttons this time it's kind of just like a flat pad it's real real sharp one nice thing that you can customize is where you want the home where you want the call button to do menu preferences scroll to the bottom it'll say default tab so my default tab is phone which will take me to the dialer but like I said you can change it to call log favorites contacts your last viewed so that's always nice and the last thing I'll show you is the keyboard so let me go to compose a message And there's the keyboard from 2.3. Um, it's got a different look. The buttons look, they're a little more narrow, but I think they're a little taller than they were in 2.2. Still got the voice button. Um, your settings are next. Um, it's pretty responsive still. Um, the switch the colors a bit. The colors seem to be green and yellow in 2.3 as opposed to just green. Um, there's nothing wrong with the keyboard. It does text predict very well. Um, myself, I like to use um, Shape Writer. I know people are all about swipe, but Shape Writer is not in the market, but you can find the APK. I'll put the APK up in the description, but I prefer Shape Writer because I like it better than swipe. World are you doing? I just I just like it better. That's a very very big number pad, so you won't hit anything. It's got the smiley still. I just got all the um, symbols, so I I just prefer Shape Writer over uh, Swipe. But that's an overview of 2.3. Oh, I'll show you the music player before I leave. This last minute, um, they did change the music player. So let's say. I'm playing Chris Brown. Look at me now. So what's nice? Let's say you're playing a video, uh, a song, and you want to find out the lyrics. Or you want to find out the YouTube video. You just hold the um, song title and you press down on it, and it'll, it'll come up. And let's say YouTube video. It'll take you straight to YouTube, and you can find you know lyrics or videos or whatever. It takes you straight to the YouTube search results. So right there, I can look at. Um, look at me now video and same thing for like the artists in general like you can browse Winamp which is another app that I got so that's cool and um, you tap the album cover and you can quickly rearrange where you want the a track to go I don't know it's just a, a little more aesthetically pleasing like I said but that's everything I can think of right now. I'm gonna come back later and make a more in-depth view video of the sign engine settings. So this is Wise Man White. See you guys in a few. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit me up on Twitter, The Tech Temple. And check out our new website, read new design, thetechtemple.com. Thank you guys, and I'll uh, see you guys later. Yeah.